जी शिवानी दीदी वी वे टॉकिंग अबाउट हैप्पीनेस इन द लास्ट एपिसोड एंड अर्लियर वी वे टॉकिंग अबाउट डिपेंडेंसी एंड लास्ट टाइम वी वे टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट वाज दैट अचीवमेंट्स अचीवमेंट्स एंड ऑनेस्टली आई हैव बीन स्पीकिंग टू अ फ्यू फ्रेंड्स ऑफ माइन एंड वी मेट सम वेरी डियर फ्रेंड्स एंड दे सेड कि लाइक यू नो अर्लियर दीज टू टीचर्स आई and then we came to eq then we came to uh, sq like that this they still say that there's something called u stress a good stress like you have good and bad cholesterol and they said yes yeah, so they say that we need that kind of stress and tension and one of my friends was telling me the till you know i wait till the end and when i'm stressed and the time is less then i work the best that is my best what is all that we need to ask ourselves it's a belief system it's something that we're hearing everywhere around us that unless there is stress i will not perform if there is no stress i will become very passive and laid back and i wouldn't have that drive you know they call it that drive to perform to achieve so we need to ask ourselves is it really true for that i need to ask myself what is this stress and when i experience it how do i feel it's like my normal way of walking and then suddenly i have a problem in my knee when i have a problem in my knee mm. it starts paining i'm still walking but is the walking the same as i was walking before when everything was fine no that's with pain that's with pain so it's going to be a little uncomfortable but i say this is okay this is natural you know with age a little pain and all is part of life so i start i still keep walking and because i'm not taking care of healing it the pain is constantly there and at times even aggravates but i'm still managing my life now suddenly i have to run because of some reason will i be able to run with that pain no i will not same thing with stress stress is here it's a little pain ha huh. in the way i feel let's just sit back and remember the last time i experienced stress which won't be very long back it will be probably today sometime in the day or yesterday and how did i feel even if you're not able to check yourself on the emotional level even just check the physical pathological parameters your heart beat increases your pulse rate increases at times your mouth goes dry mm. you start feeling a very you know uncomfortable feeling in the stomach your head gets heavy this is when the effect of the mind has already taken its toll on the body mm. and this is a much later stage it's a much much later stage you know even when we used to go and give exams so on the day of the exam in the morning the stomach yeah. butterflies yeah the day you have to give a public speech your mouth yeah, dries it dries and the shivers the legs used to shiver yeah so this is the effect of the mind on the body but this is a much later stage but i thought it was just normal you know the first time i was uh, facing a camera i went on doing because the whole thing was getting dried my mouth my lips so do you perform better no i i it was very bad yeah. and uh, let's say a little child goes to his exam exam is a target exam is a pressure but if he creates anxiety does he perform better i remember when we used to give our exams and come back and we used to evaluate our own performance and there were places where we knew the answer and we had made mistakes mm. and then we used to call it as careless mistake what's a careless mistake i know the answer but i've written something else why clarity is not there why because anxiety is there so we should not call that carelessness or careless uh, mistake it's a wrong line then yeah it's not careless it's because it's careless here i didn't take care here yeah. so obviously there is clarity of thinking is gone decision making power is affected performance will get affected my hands would be trembling my speed of writing will slow down and i'll say i didn't finish my exam so why do people say that i work the best when i'm stressed and when i'm tense and when the load is on my head to finish load is fine the target is there load is fine target is fine pressure is fine stress What's load that? target and pressure pressure doesn't mean uh, pressure means I have to do this by tomorrow evening. Okay. This is a deadline. It's a target. It's a pressure. So all that is okay. Yeah, if you remove that target from me, then I'll take 6 days to finish it. 
but the minute you tell me this has to be completed by tomorrow evening so there it is bang here tomorrow evening this has to be finished target so immediately I start working faster mm. but while I'm working faster if I start creating the thoughts how will I finish it by tomorrow evening if I don't finish it by tomorrow evening what will be the consequence will I be thrown out of my job will my boss get angry with me what if someone else finishes it before me does that mean they will go ahead if this happens my career is finished I'm still performing I'm still working but what is in the mind but what is in the mind now this what is going on in the mind is stress and also negativity that negativity is stress okay so negativity is stress yeah because anything which creates an uncomfortable feeling Target? Fine. This has to be finished by tomorrow evening. Two people are given the same target. They have to finish this job by tomorrow evening. Both will set to achieving it and both will achieve it. So that means both will reach the destination. But the journey will be different hmm. for both of them. One will be, yes, I have to achieve this by tomorrow evening. Now nothing else on my mind, only this work. And I am going to do this by tomorrow evening. Journey. The second person. What if something happens? What if something happens? What if, if I don't whatever, achieve? Uh, Look at my boss. He's the gone home and he tells me, I was supposed to go home. Today's my daughter's birthday. I had to pick her up on the way. This, that, that, that. And I'm still working. And I will still reach there by tomorrow evening. But the journey. So one has reached the destination with stability. Happily. Happily. And the other has reached the destination creating stress. And the end result? And the end result Externally, the same. Both have performed, but internally... Yes, the other person is totally fatigued. Yes. Oh, it was so much of tension, yeah, so much of pressure. It, the, the, those days, I mean, um, they were like nightmares. That would be the other yeah, end of the other but person. But that person will conveniently put the responsibility on the pressure. Obviously, I had to feel like this. The target was so tough. I had to do it in 24 and it's hours. so normal and natural. You would do the same if you were in my place. Yeah, that's how we condition everyone around us. Obviously, I would get stressed. It was pressure. Stress in science has a simple formula. Stress is equal to pressure divided by resilience. Pressure divided by resilience. Pressure, numerator, what's coming from outside. Targets, exams, relationships, situations. Traffic jam, deadlines, pressure. Resilience, my inner strength to face that pressure. Even simple metal sheets you see in the industry, different metal sheets subjected to same amount of pressure, stress factor of every metal is different because every metal sheet power to face that pressure is different. So the stress of every metal is different. Yeah. Pressure is the same. Yeah, that's why how, that's how they make the aircraft too. So metal fatigue they count. They, that's yeah. all. So stress is equal to pressure divided by resilience. Today we have conveniently ignored the denominator mm. and we say stress is equal to pressure. And what about the resilience? Ignored because I'm not ready to take responsibility of my inner strength. So stress is equal to pressure. So if I have an exam, obviously I will get tensed. If my boss is very tough, obviously it's going to be challenging for me. So because stress is equal to pressure. But what do you think? People like to be stressed, somewhere they honestly like it or what? It's just that because we're it? not... Why do they accept this easily than what you're talking about? It's because when I'm not able to do it... Not able to do what? I'm not able to take care of it, so I just say it's natural. So you mean to say it's going to... It takes effort to not to be stressed and be happy in a situation. Yeah, it's, you know, it it, it's like... It's like if you say something to me right now which is not very pleasant, to get hurt is so easy and it's so easy to just sit back and you say... You say easy, but I, at, even at this age, I should think it's so natural. I would say that to my child, oh yeah, naturally, you know, this fellow said this to him, so this happened. Even if you go to a police station, they'll say the same. Even if you go to a court, they'll say the same thing. He was angry because of this and this happened or he was intoxicated, this happened. They're all the time putting some blame on something else. The Everywhere weather, you go. The weather changes. Mm. It's summer today. A couple of days later, it will be winter. It's so natural to fall ill. The weather's changed. It's very chilly. 
So you didn't just sit and roam around and say, it's natural we'll fall ill, the weather's changed. No, we open the cupboard and take out our woolens and protect ourselves. Don't keep on blaming the weather, do we? We protect ourselves. Things are going to happen outside. But because we did not learn the mechanism of how to protect ourselves, how to shield ourselves from the changes that were happening outside, we said it's natural to fall ill. It's natural to get hurt. It's natural to get stressed. Spirituality now focuses on the denominator. The resilience. resilience. Pressure, situation, not in my control. Situation, not, not in, in my, my control. control. So numerator, not, not in, in my, my control. control. And any situation, in any situation, 10% numerator is responsible. And 90 Resilience. My power to cope with that situation. My strength. Yes. My power. Because if the pressure is not there, there's no question, there will be no stress created. So 10% we give responsibility to the pressure. Remaining 90%, how much I take charge of how I am going to handle that pressure. You mean to say, uh, if something happens, an action, 90, that is 10%. How I react to that? It's 90% 90. because... Somebody just uh, uh, hits my car a little. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's, it's very old. I don't mind if my car is just going for painting. But it's just brand new. I'll react more. But that's still and a it's choice. it's more expensive. But it's still a choice how you react. See, so somebody's reaction. hit your car. Two people were reversing their cars or two people were at a traffic junction and the cars hit. Situation not in my control. Okay. But now how I'm going to respond, either I'm going to get out of the car, shout at him, be violent with him, abuse him, and then he also responds in the same manner, have 10 more people in the scene, that's a choice. The other choice is good morning, have a nice day, see you. Or, and the other choice is just smile or just say it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, so good morning, have a and nice day. And finally you've got to go to the insurance if you have to, otherwise no. Even what if else not, can you do? more important is your insurance here. See, again, you claim your insurance and your car is repaired tomorrow. But the damage that gets done here every time a situation comes, where is the insurance hmm. and where is the that repair? That is a beautiful line, Sister Shivani. I just have realized it's a beautiful line you said, the damage and the insurance. And we always forget, the, see, how much suddenly realize that a car is damaged, I'm more concerned. About the car. Ah, so much of concern, so much reacted so violently because of the car. Something happens to me, doesn't matter. What? Because on my responsibility list, car is higher than myself. Ah, yes, while, even while drinking, eating or anything or speaking or hurting. This is a good point, I never thought of that. When I keep my self-responsibility the highest, number one on the list, my state of being is my first responsibility, then whatever happens, I will first take care. Am I okay? Then I will see if everything else is okay. Then, then you'll be uh, able to see and also make others happy or are you okay? When you, then you'll be capable enough to ask somebody, are you okay or do help somebody. If you don't help yourself, how can you help you others? Can't. You can't. If you don't heal yourself, you can't take care of anyone. But I've seen so many people... So this is not being selfish? I have to ask myself, is it being selfish? If I don't take care of myself, I can't help you. I'm living under an illusion that all my time and energy is going into taking care of other people. What's the result? Today I'm under stress, my children are under stress, today young children are experiencing depression. We're taking so much care of them. Depression was something which used to happen to people when they were 60 and above. Today we have school children. Today we have child psychiatrists. Are we fulfilling our responsibilities? This wouldn't be the result. Yeah, this nice word responsibility, when you say, when I used to say or everybody says, this guy is so irresponsible, the driver is irresponsible, the teachers today are irresponsible, the politicians are ir irresponsible. But uh, by listening to you right now, you made me realize that what about me? I am the most irresponsible person on earth by not being responsible for myself. Responsible. And comes from the word. I have to be responsible 
to teach a child how to be responsible first i have to be responsible responsibility yeah. the ability to respond is responsibility my the ability to, to respond, respond in every situation is responsibility okay and that's the only thing in your hands that is the only thing in your hands imagine the irony of life always trying to control things which are not in our control and, and ignoring forgetting. that one thing which is Bridges. in our control and then saying oh my mind is not in my control that's the only thing which is in our control even this small thing of two cars bumping into each other if you ask someone you can just say have a nice day or it's okay never mind and just drive and they'll say no 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 is that the way the natural way is that you have to get out of the car and teach the other person okay but if you explain to them but you know what you're creating so much damage you're hurting yourself they'll say okay but what about making the other person realize mm. that he's made a mistake so that he won't make it again so yes. i'm doing him a favor yes so i'm more interested in teaching, teaching others other people doesn't matter if i'm suffering because but how I'm can you teach somebody in this it was an accident no he didn't do it on purpose so how what are you going to teach there so now we ask ourselves whenever it happens the next time on the road i want to teach the other person this is not the right way to drive you should have looked the right way i'm more interested in teaching the other people what's right what's wrong forgetting so, so the meaning whether of the i'm in the right wrong here so it was not accidental yeah so you mean to say you behave as if it is on purpose he did that so you've got to because that's what we always feel na somebody else had made a mistake that's why this happened mm. this is a small situation the rule of the game remains the same whether it's a small situation like this or a big one i have a choice how i'm going to respond and let me just sit back and just be aware every situation i have a choice and if i just say it's okay and drive on how do i feel that day i think so. you feel so nice and confident and you might share this with your friends and go home and say look i did this today and you feel you just you've just saved yourself from a lot of wastage of energy and the same day i feel nice about it because you've conserved energy no you've conserved energy and conquered uh, your conquered your own weakness. weaknesses yes so it's something that has to be experimented with all these days i have been you know a slave of my weaknesses and absolutely suddenly and honestly uh, you don't realize it uh, that this what we are speaking right now at that moment but something some kind of happiness you get you know this happened today it happened with me the other day i was going to the airport and somebody banged and my driver was just about to get on i said just keep quiet just keep quiet just close the door and go ahead don't even look at him somebody banged me and there was a nice feeling i felt nice about it but uh, right now while discussing with you i feel that yeah that was because of, i kind of conquered my weakness or weaknesses which were there from years and years and also you created the right thoughts at that time so you're feeling better if you create a thought it's okay it's just an accident move on now it's a good quality thought it's, it's a over. good feeling but if i create a thought why didn't he look properly he should have been driving properly this is how people are who gives them their license so much of corruption in this country <laughs> you can create all kinds of thoughts at such a time so how are you going to feel after that and so as will be the thoughts so will be the feelings so will be the abuse of language and so will be the energy exchanged and then after all this we reach work and it, this remains for how long this kind of that mood and the agitation uh, let's within. say i have to drive for about half an hour to work or one hour to work this will stay with me for about half an hour but uh, the unfortunate part is within the next half an hour there will be another situation and and worse because already your my immunity system has crashed i've already fallen ill so and I, your anger is all, almost here yeah so now i reach the office and my receptionist is not there on her desk she hasn't come to office on time that's it one more situation and then i go to my desk and i see that the office boy has not cleaned my table properly one more situation and then my junior has not completed his work which was supposed to be here on my desk at 10 o'clock in the morning one more situation i was not not informed about somebody who's going to come in at 10:30 and that person lands up 
So situation after situation after situation, and I keep on reacting, but every time I justify my reaction saying, it is because of? This, 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 this. I am right. I didn't do anything, but this happened. And it's so natural. It happens, anybody would get angry, anybody would get... If you react, you're wasting, depleting your energy. You're reducing your emotional strength. And then when you come into the next situation, you will be weaker than before. And then the next situation, again weaker than before. By the end of the day, And fatigued. this also becomes a habit. Anything done repeatedly. Again and again and again and again. And every again. time saying, it's natural, it's natural, it's natural. So it's justified. Then you get your uh, high blood pressure, and then you get your heart... Uh, uh, problems but then and it's then natural, you, um, no? Today they will say high blood pressure is natural. Ah, it's everybody, to every th third person has Because it. if stress is natural, then the byproduct of the stress will also be natural. And then if the byproduct in me is natural, then it's natural for my children also to be stressed. So that's also natural. So everything became nat everything that was unnatural was labeled as natural and natural and natural. So let's all get stressed and achieve what we want in life. Yes, and then say we want happiness. <laughs> and unlimited. Yes. You, by the way, what is the meaning of unlimited happiness? Unlimited, which is not dependent on any limited object, people oh. or situation. Unlimited, which is not dependent on? Not limited, any limited. Limited means physical, material, object, people or situation. It's okay. a state of being which is unlimited, unconditional, independent, free, so absolutely. So we are creating limitations. And then dependencies and therefore fear. What if I don't get it, then what? And then okay. I will never be free. Whenever there is a dependency on someone or something, immediately the second thought will be of fear. What if I don't get it? You know, if I create a thought, like on achievements, if I achieve this, then I will be happy. Second thought will be, what if I don't achieve it? So I've immediately created fear. And as I've created fear, happiness is gone. And that's why you will find people saying that, you know, if everyone in the house is happy, they'll say, don't be so happy. You never know what's there on the next corner. Mm. We never so they're so fearful of even being happy, they're scared to be happy today. They also say, don't be happy in, when you're happy, don't be sad when you're sad, because you never know, yeah. because this is, this is very temporarily... Because it's dependent, no, on situations. So today the situation is favorable, so you're happy. But don't be so happy because you don't know what the next situation is going to be. But if your happiness is here, independent of situations, then you can be happy 24 by 7. It's not dependent on any situation. It's not dependent on people. It's my creation, which I choose, irrespective of whoever and whatever outside. I think it's a nice idea to have a um, topic called uh, happiness 24 by 7. <laughs> if we really want, we have to ask ourselves, how often do I want to be happy? I remember we used to be in school, they used to ask us, which was the happiest day of your life? Oh. Yeah, you have these happy days of your life and then people will prepare a list. The day I came first in class, the day so-and-so thing happened, somebody will say the day I got my promotion, the day my daughter got married. So it's so conditional, it's situational. So you've been conditioned from childhood. So now let me ask myself, how often do I want to be happy? I want to be happy 24 by 7. It's possible and we can do it. But for that we'll have to take care of ourselves and take self-responsibility. And then it's possible. But if it's dependent on outside, then occasional. And the more situations become challenging, the more people, behaviors become unpredictable, it's going to be tough. And that's why we've started accepting stress as natural, whereas it was happiness which was natural. Sister Shivani, thank you so much for uh, explaining stress is not natural, but happiness is natural. And and we can, we were talking about achievement, achieving this, achieving that. Absolutely. And how to achieve, we'll speak in your next episode. Till then, would you mind uh, a, a small little uh, meditation for the viewers? Let's sit back comfortably. Let's look at myself. I, the creator of every thought and feeling. 
I have pressures in life, targets to achieve, deadlines to meet. It's just a pressure. I am the one who's going to achieve the target. Let me take care of myself as I work towards achieving the target. The quality of my thoughts and feelings as I move towards the target. Any fear, any anxiety, any worry, let me first sit back and change the quality of the thought. I am a powerful being and I can achieve what I have decided but I will first take care of myself nothing and no one can influence my state of being it's totally in my control I, the powerful being, protected and secure, now move towards my target. This is my journey, a journey of happiness. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, Sister Shivani, and let's uh think or watch the qualities of a thought till we meet again in the next episode. Thank you. Stress is a pain which comes to tell me there is something I need to change. Stress is our creation of wrong thoughts which has an effect on our efficiency, memory power, decision power and hence our performance. Stress has an impact on our physical and emotional well-being and hence any amount of stress is damaging. Targets, pressures, deadlines, exams are natural but stress is our choice. Stress is equal to pressure divided by resilience that is inner strength. My first responsibility in any situation is to first take charge of my state of mind because that is the only thing which is in my control. Tomorrow we will discuss how our happiness is not dependent on people. If you wish to discuss your problem or have a question to ask or want to know your nearest Raj Yoga Meditation Center, write to us at awakeningwithbks.com.